Hello everybody, thank you all very much for tuning into my channel, The Beer Monster Reviews. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. And uh, for this review, we've got a Craft Stout. Uh, it's one by BrewDog, uh, which, you know, can be a bit hit and miss. A lot of people aren't fans of BrewDog, but, you know, going to review it anyway, particularly because I only paid £1.15 for this one. I picked it up from uh, B&M, and it is their Cake Cartel Hazelnut Stout. Uh, it sounds really nice to me because I absolutely love uh, hazelnuts. But the cake part is a bit worrying for me because I'm not too keen on uh, sweet beers, um, particularly stouts that are really overly sweet. Um, so yeah, don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but definitely worth a go for the hazelnut at least. And the price £1.15 for a 330ml can, not a lot to lose really, is there? It's 6% uh, uh, ABV in volume, this one. And uh, kind of a girly looking wrap on it. Now, sort of brew dog don't really for a so called craft beer company, they don't really put much effort into their can wraps. I find a lot of the other craft beer companies have some really nice looking cool cans, but um, brew dog's cans just come across as a bit lazy, a bit like many of their beers. But you know, I'm starting to get into stouts lately, so I'm looking forward to giving this one a crack and uh. On that note, let's crack her open. Got a little blue uh, brew dog glass for this review. I think this came, I got this out of Asda. I think it came with a couple of brew dog beers around Christmas time. I only really wanted the, the glass, so I didn't really have many craft beer glasses. So I keep getting smashed. Uh, let's get in there. It's looking very jet black, this one. Yeah, it's uh, probably should have got my glasses on. It is pretty much jet black in colour. Got a sort of kind of a tanned looking head on there. Let's get a whiff, see what sort of aromas we get out of this. Hmm. You're getting chocolate and you are getting nut. I like hazelnut. But uh, the combination of them both together reminds me a bit of like a chocolate spread, yeah. like um, a Nutella. I think that's like a hazelnut chocolate spread, isn't it? It reminds me a bit of that. Or maybe like a little bit Ferrero Rocher-y. Yeah, it is quite chocolatey, but it does smell rather sweet, which is a little bit worrying, but sometimes they smell more sweet than they taste, and I'm hoping that's the case with this one, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm not really getting like the roasty toasted malts and all that, what you get of a lot of stouts for this one. I think it perhaps it may be there, but it's being overpowered by the uh, chocolate. Hmm. I've um, got a feeling it might be too sweet for me, but hopefully I'm wrong. Cheers, everybody. Let's give it a go. Bosh. That's too sweet for me. Mm. It is very sweet. It's definitely not a bit of me, this one, from a personal uh, preference. Although, it's not horrible. I've got to say that it is actually quite nice. It just doesn't, it's not for my taste buds, this one, at all. But, you know, I'm going to crack on anyway and uh, drink it. But I can tell I, I could only drink one of these right away with that sweetness. It's got quite a sort of um, thin mouthfeel to it. Maybe thin to medium at best. But it is rather thin. Let's go again. Definitely getting the chocolate, definitely getting the hazelnut. And for me, just before you get those, they're kind of, like, as you take a sip, there's kind of like a delayed reaction before you get the chocolate and the hazelnut for me. Before that, I'm getting kind of like a fruity, dark fruits and like raisins and cherry, like kind of a dark fruit kind of a vibe about it. And then you get hit with the chocolate, uh, as I say, and the hazelnut. 
and uh, perhaps a little hint of vanilla as well. Then towards the end, it gets a little bit dry. And uh, uh, there's like a slight bit in, this, uh, in there as well. Quite a, I'd say like a moderate bit in this and it sort of lingers for a little while for me. But it's definitely not my kind of stout, this one. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not good. I don't think it tastes bad. It's just way too sweet for me way too sweet for me so i would say if you're into your stouts and you've got a really sweet tooth perhaps you'd really enjoy this one because i can tell it's quite nice you know it's just too sweet for me personally but i do think there will be people that really enjoy this i mean i don't even eat dessert because it's too sweet for me you know? but if you're into your desserts because this for me is like a dessert type uh stout yeah it is a bit like a pudding in a glass kind of a chocolate something like reminds me about a chocolate cake kind of thing a chocolate and nut cake with that fruit in there as well nice it's not bad it's just, it's just not for me oh yeah from a personal level i wouldn't get this again I'm gonna save this last bit because uh, I think the old girl upstairs, <laughs> uh, she's actually started uh, trying some of the beers, I've got leftovers of the beers I've reviewed. And uh, she's discovered that she rather likes stouts and she does have a sweet tooth. So I reckon she will really enjoy this one. Um, you know, so what, what, don't please one person, please someone else, can't it? So uh, instead of sort of drinking the rest of this when I'm not really enjoying it, I'm gonna go give it to her and see what she thinks. But for me, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. I can't go no higher because it's just not for me. But at the same time, I think there are people that will enjoy this and I don't think it's a bad beer. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of hard for, to give it any higher than a five for me. Uh, but yeah, if you have a sweet tooth, give it a try, especially at one pound 15 pence. I mean, that is that is a cheap, cheap price, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, it's, I'd say it's worth a buy, depending on your sort of taste buds for me. Uh, if you've enjoyed this review, guys, hit that like button. Let YouTube know you've enjoyed it. It helped the video out and that. Uh, get, and um, consider subscribing to the channel and uh, check out some more of my other content and all that. Hopefully I'll catch some of you on my next review. I do, do reviews pretty much daily. Sometimes I have the odd day off and that uh, due to just the sheer cost of it and uh you know you just need a break every now and again didn't you until the next one guys bye bye darlings <laughs>